G'day folks, well this morning I uh, went to the tip, I picked up this sort of a half a Victor lawnmower, what you see is what I got, um, I've already tested the engine, it's perfectly fine, um, we'll rebuild the carburetor, all in all I just need to add a handle, top dress cover, air filter, change the oil, someone's already gone to the effort to put new blades on it and sort of pushed it around with the little bit of handle it has got and it cuts fine so I'll leave them be or not very easy project also need a throttle cable too I guess so I've put on some handles they're not the best handles ever but they'll do the job and just a little bit of rust here and there on them um, it's getting quite late in the afternoon so I'm just going to quickly warm the engine up change the oil and then can do all the other stuff late at night and not offend anyone so do a quick start up, just let it run for a few minutes just to warm the engine up and then dump out the oil. So, the oil's changed, nice and clear. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this starter wrap. So in the last video, it wasn't frayed at all, not quite good. But when, as you pull this one, if you look, you're starting to get threads just starting to rear their ugly heads. So, and it's not as tight as it could be going back here. So. Just going to replace it, cheap insurance, and um, get that done. So. A new starter up on there, nothing too drastic. Now's a good opportunity to just give in here a quick blow with the air hose. Um, no, if it wasn't so late, I'd probably get the um, air com uh, pressure washer going and clean it, but it doesn't have to be spotless. Someone's already gone to the effort of putting in a new spark plug for us, so that's a bonus. Um, so we'll get this top cover on after blowing it out. Rebuild the fuel tank and then I've just got to find like a top beauty cover if I've got one. If not, no big loss. This is one of the, um, must be a 500 series. Yep, 10 cubic inch um, with an internal governor. So it's got the slightly smaller governor spring that hooks directly onto the cover you're out of there. Otherwise, um, it's pretty much the same as say a spring 375 or. Um, what is it, 450 series? Yeah, well, I am fuckers. Um, they're only nine cubic inch though. Anyhow, moving on. So I've just chucked a new diaphragm in this car. Um, there's a little bit of rust in the bottom of the tank. Um, I did plan on changing it out, but I didn't have a good one right at hand to use. So all I did was with the half a tank that was still in it, I um, chucked a whole heap of stainless bolts and washers and shit in there and chuck post clamps in there anyway and shook it up and put everything that was loose out of there so all that stuff is pretty much um, stuck in there but it's not going to block up our pickup so it's not going to be an issue no um, these gaskets did need changing usually i can get them off in one piece and it was just knackered so i can go on the bin now um there's plenty of tutorials out there on fitting these. I will do one sooner or later. Um, I've just got to organise for someone to hold a camera for me or get off my ass and buy a tripod I suppose. Anyhow, we'll fit this back onto the machine and carry on. So our fuel tank's fitted back up. Um, basically just got to fit throttle cable, air filter and the beauty cover that goes over the top. Um, it's almost nine o'clock at night. We're off grid. Um, got the 240 available if we need it, but it's all running good at the moment. Um, do have a lot of voltage drop between the shed and the house, and the dog's to blame for that because she decided to chew one of the cables in half. Speak of the devil. I gave in. I went to 240. Anyway, this is how she is complete. Now let's make it really pop. And here she is. This thing looks friggin' awesome. Not brand new. 
Um, can't expect you know, for the price range I sell them for from the look brand new. Um, we're missing one hubcap. I'll go and find one in the morning. This thing came up awesome. So we'll do a quick price breakdown. Um, $5 to buy it originally. I don't know. I bought a 100 meter roll. Start a rope for 50 bucks. So two meters of rope. A uh, dollar, two dollars. What I ain't been one and a half meters. Um, the blades were already new on it. Five bucks worth of oil. Everything else was pulled off parts mowers. Um, either diaphragm, another two bucks. Let's call it twenty dollars total. And this is what sort of machine you can build. And once again, maybe two hours of my time at the absolute maximum. Um, they're out there, guys. Get on them because these good Briggs and Stratton engines are becoming less and less common with the shit like this that people buy up now. Um, this is actually a good Chonda Victor lawnmower. Um, I had it ready for sale, but I don't know. I just can't bring myself to sell this Chinese made crap. So I use that one myself. Yep. So someone that does up lawnmowers all day, every day. Basically daily drives a um, Chinese Honda copy. I can't really complain about it, but when they're sold at the low pro price point, people will be using them. And the ones you pick up second hand are usually just garbage because they've been running to the ground. These ones are quite a bit dearer when they were new. People tended to look after them. Um, and okay this one was a bit neglected it was missing a few parts but someone did love it at one point um, it had reasonably clean oil when I got it so maybe they pulled it apart like it was just to get it in the boot of their car to take it to the tip because you know they've got a new one or their neighbour got a new one so they've got to upgrade there's a few of those type around here anyhow um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one